You may notice I have something in my ear right now. It's not a hearing aid. What it is is an actual... I have a YouTube video open in the other window here on my browser and the other tab about Bob Costas' turd that he just let fly out of his mouth. Now, if you're unaware, Bob Costas just said some ridiculously ignorant statement on, su on Sunday Night Football. I don't watch football, and I didn't even know who the fuck Bob Costas was, but it's blowing up on Twitter. I don't follow Twitter, but I learned that it's blowing up on Twitter from sites like Facebook and Google. It's blowing up. He made some ridiculous anti-gun comment. I have that entire conversation in another YouTube video, so I'm going. So for copyright reasons, I'm I'm going to tell you what was said. I'm not going to show you. I'm going to give you a paraphrasing of what was said and my my thoughts on it as it goes along. So here we go. Let's let's start with the uh, the first bit here. Apparently he's quoting something that some other author, uh, author made, and uh, he says, I don't always agree with this person, but in this case I really do. And this is the statement, so let me continue here. He says, our gun culture will ensure that more and more domestic, domestic disputes will end in tragedy. We'll let him have that for a second. He then says, and uh, more convenience store disputes over loud music coming from a car will leave uh, people, leave more people dead. Now, this is where we're going to have to stop here. Um, I don't exactly agree that we're going to have more disputes like that, because if I remember correctly, um, people have been get, getting killed for the stupidest reasons from the beginning of time. I seem to remember, well, let's not get into the religious thing, but people have been killed for stupid religious things since the beginning of time. So saying that it was the guns that's causing all this violence is nonsense. Um, I seem to remember people being killed because they were Jewish a while back, too, but I mean, that it's not because we have more guns nowadays. But l let's continue. Oh, here's another good line he just cracked out here. He says, handguns do not ex do not expand... What was the way exact word he said? Hold on, let me back up here. He said, handguns do not enhance our safety, and I cannot agree more. That's why we don't have any police or law enforcement officers or uh, any military people. That's why they don't carry them. They exacerbate our flaws, tempt us to escalate arguments. That's correct. That's why there are so many shootings in NRA conventions, because there are so many guns. The first argument, if you give somebody back 50 cents and you were supposed to give them back 25 cents, well, let's just say it's a bloodbath. They bait us into embracing confrontation. Yes, that's absolutely correct. Like I said, if you go to not even just an NRA convention, any gun show, if you so much as have one hair out of place on your head, it's going to be a bloodbath because there is a direct relationship between the number of guns and the amount of violence that happens. And then he goes on to say this idiot that killed himself, this NFL player that killed himself with, uh, he killed himself and his girlfriend with a gun. It was a murder-suicide thing. He actually says, if they didn't have that gun, then they would be alive today. And again, what a wonderful statement he made. Just like, if there were no two planes that got hijacked on 9-11, there would never be any terrorist attacks. I love people that are psychic. Because you know me, I believe in a lot of psychics. I've, not, I've never been a skeptic on anything like that at all. And I can say, if you can tell me without a doubt, if that man did not have a gun, they would be alive today. And if those two planes didn't get hijacked on 9-11, then those two towers would still be standing. You're a good man. That's why, like, Bob, Bob Koss is giving us intelligent thoughts on the issue. But like I said, I just wanted to give this little, uh, little response here. Because it was just such a stupid statement, and I, I kept hearing this Bob Costas thing, Bob Costas, so I had to look it up, and they had the video on YouTube. I'll go ahead and put the link in the description box here. I will copy it right now to go ahead and put it right in the description box. But this is, as you, this is, what you see is what you get. I could probably make better arguments than even this, but this is just coming right off the cuff from this. That's, like I said, I was still wearing the, uh, the headphone, you know, 
because I wanted to get right out to you. I didn't want to write all the transcript out and then give it to you. I wanted it to be, bam, right on topic. But yes, way to go, Bob Costas. I, you see, I, now, I don't watch football myself, but if there's one thing I know, it's that you turn on your TV on Sunday night, not because you want to watch men hit each other and fight over a little piece of pigskin. No, because you want to hear somebody's political agenda. I know I do. I know when I turn on to the Super Bowl, it's like, wow, there's these ladies that are wearing these glittery pom-poms and short miniskirts and glittery tights. No, I don't want to see that. I don't want to see that at all. I want to hear this man talk about ruining the very foundations of this country. That is why I tune in. So A-plus for NBC Sports. I really do appreciate that. By the way, their Facebook page is also blowing up if you want to go check that out. People aren't happy about it. But yes, I'm glad you, you got the right you got the right demographic of people that watch football. The first thing they want to hear about is your political agenda. Uh, about disagreeing with the values of this country. So, A-plus on you, Bob Costas. A-plus on you, NBC Sports. You've done well. I'm sure a lot of people appreciate that. Take it easy.